Big Amount TV, we at Bud's House of Meat, barbecue to go. We about to go try some barbecue. Hopefully I can get somebody to talk to me. We are here on Cullen, Houston, Texas. Alright, we're at Bud's House of Meat. Hello. Hi, yes, ma'am. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Good. My name is Leroy. Um, I'm with uh, Big Amount TV. I, I call it Big Amount because I want to capture everything okay. in Houston. So nice to meet you, nice to meet you sir. I really appreciate y'all. I just wanted to show everybody around, maybe, sure, if that's fine. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, maybe if I could get a shot of the smokers or. Okay. Okay. Are y'all butchers and and just? We butcher. Yeah, we butcher our own beef. Okay. 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 We get it in fresh twice a week. Okay. Okay. Your chicken fresh, never frozen. Okay. Okay. All of our boudin and sausage in house. Okay, okay. So we make we make we make boudin six days a week. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Our girls are back there right now, but that would be a good thing. Yeah, they were they were they were finished with the boudin, so they're good. Okay, okay. But I can open up some smokers and you can see them. Okay. I've been. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. I've been coming here since. Oh yeah, yes sir, yes sir. We can show you the smoke. Back here, it kind of gets messy and stuff anyway, because it's just a working area. Yes sir. And we do tumble and marinate all of our own meat through the barbecue. Okay. We cook our briskets about 18 hours. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes sir. Yes sir. So they were telling me that um y'all just purchased or y'all are new owners. Okay. It's been in business for 44 years. Oh. Well, they've been here on okay. Cullen since 2009. Okay, okay. And, uh, and some guys like Charlie back there, he's, he's been at it for almost 30 years. Oh, okay, okay. So before y'all purchased, were like you still in this type of business? No, we or? just carried on with the previous owners. They built it oh. and they retired. Okay, okay. And we just carried on all the same okay. recipes, vendors. Uh, just upgrading some equipment. Okay, okay. Now, um, what type of background do you come from? Like, no, no type of meat. Teacher for 26 years. You were a teacher. A teacher. Oh, okay. 26 years. I retired, and he's been in medical health. Business background. Business okay. Ran territories in medical. Like, oh, okay. Hospitals, okay. Like okay. So, uh, but also a lot of retail experience. Okay. Working through college and stuff with Sam's. Okay, so what gave you, like, what made you want to, you know, purchase this place? Because this seems like, okay, you said you don't have a background in barbecue and meat. Is it something that you love or just something that... Yeah. It's kind of funny. Originally, I said I didn't want a lot of employees. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of employees who were dealing yeah. with food. Yeah, yes, But when we came and visited it, and then we went away, we thought about it, and then we just kept talking about it. Then we came back for a second visit, and we just knew it just yeah. felt right. We like how it serves the community. We love the employees. We kept everybody they had. Okay. Um, it just really helps a lot of people, and, it, and it's just a feel good when you come to work. Yeah, mm -hmm. something like kind of giving back and making because because that's yeah. you hear you hear that a lot where, especially now, the the workforce everything like you get new owners and everybody's gone and you know and that's that's kind of what I'm I work for AT&T and um, I pretty much fix people's bills like they call in hey this happened or this, and I fix their bills and I'm kind of scared every time I turn on the TV it's like you know this many people are getting laid off that many people so I'm myself trying to figure out, okay, in 10, 20 years, where do I want to be? And it's kind of scary, yeah. I think, I think this area right here is about to be Yeah. If you look around, all the these places, they're selling. Yeah. All of these condos are coming up. These nice little apartments. 
they're bringing in, they're trying to make this area. Yeah, one out. There's a lot of people like you, they're like, I was going with my mom when that was this side. Yeah. Now they have their own kids yeah. and they're coming in. Yeah. And I think it's the old school service. They yeah. They help you all the way down the counter. They bag it for you, carry it to your car. Well, you know. You yeah, know. exactly. You yes, don't get that a lot anymore. Not like, anymore. Work, you can just tell it, 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 it lifts you up a little it bit. It does. Seeing everybody, it's like, that's what. So I didn't want to buy a business and have a lot of headaches. You know, show up, do your yeah. job. Yeah. And so let's, let's all have fun. Yeah, let's, yeah. Let's make it easy. Yeah, yes, sir. And, and they all work hard. You can see there's never anybody. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like if you ever see somebody just standing around, yeah. like, something's going on. Yeah. Like, somebody needs to find something new. But they all have stuff they're doing. Yeah, so yes, sir. Everybody has their jobs, their roles. And, Yes, sir. It makes time go by quick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And like I said, I've been coming here since I was kids, and that's all you ever see. Everybody moving and yeah. going. So. And we try to keep our prices really fair, you know. I mean, yeah. sometimes our cost goes up and we have to go up, and it goes down, we go down. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. And that's what's going on now. It's like everything's going up, and, they're, and we're like, okay, is it going to go down but it's like i tell my customers every day everything's gone up except for how much you get paid so exactly so yes, and sometimes it's you know like summertime gases or gas prices are both because yeah. so they yeah. know yeah and then like oxtails went up before the holidays yeah because they know yeah you know, yeah I mean, yeah yeah so right yes, now the super bowl loom and they're saying the chicken wings are gonna chicken wings yeah. you know it's, it's like yeah they're getting harder and harder to get right now and yeah they're gonna raise the price they know see that's but we're at the mercy yeah some people think that it's just us right but it's no no you know, there's yeah a, it's, if you, if you don't go with the flow of it then you can't pay everybody yeah yeah so it pretty much like when we see stuff in the stores go up is it just because what how, how, where does that come from like every like eggs just maybe a year ago like i could get 12 for like 80 cents 80 but now like every oh, yeah. oh. kind of just keep following that trail follow, you know, okay and then they're gonna truck it with the oh. gas prices, with the gas okay. prices. So, okay. you know, they always, you always pass it down. So, the yeah, that's what I was going to say. So, pretty much, when something at the top goes like that, it just trinkles down to everything. Yeah. Oh. She's like, even fertilizer. Okay, yeah. the fertilizer of the crop, it costs more money. Eventually, that all. And then gas prices went up. So, then they have to raise your prices. They charge me more to buy the product. Mm. Well, then, if I don't raise my prices, then you it's can't like, pay your bills. yeah. You can't pay your bills. Yeah. You know, so then eventually you have to pass it on. But then that's where you said, when did the salary talk kick in? Right? Man, I tell people every day everything's going up except for how much I get paid. Like, For example, like Chitlins, for a while we sold them $19.95 for a five pound bag. Mm -hmm. Well, our price went up to $29.95 for cost. $10 over what I'd sell them for. Yeah. So I didn't buy them for about a month. Okay. The prices went down. And now they went down enough that I have them for fifteen dollars. Okay. So okay. I, I, I don't. Okay. You don't customer. keep it the same. Once right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, since we my, just won't buy you know, okay. if, it's, if I figure I gotta have a twenty percent markup to stay in business to pay everybody and pay our bills, then I'll go twenty percent whatever they charge me. Okay. But if I don't, if I don't move with that. Okay. Then you're not gonna be in business. Okay. I mean okay. that's just common sense. Yeah. You know, yeah. Kind of, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, it's like that. you're. And then if I've you gone down when Oxtail goes down, I'll go back down. We've been okay. nine ninety nine for a long time. Okay. Right now it's eleven ninety nine. Okay. Doesn't okay. make sense for me to sell them at night. Yeah, yes sir. I'm yes, not sir. Take them off the shelf, but that's the case. Yes, sir. So. Yes, sir. Man, this is great. Now one more thing. Oh, we we're about to redo our floor. Oh yeah. This month, yeah, yeah. This yeah. This floor is about 15 years old. Yeah. We're getting new floor. Yeah, yes sir. Look a lot different. You might want to be. Yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. Yes sir. Yes Before sir. Before and after. Yes sir. What what advice would you give younger people that are coming up now in today's job market? I mean, I don't know if. I'd say you got to be willing to work every day. Yeah. Work for what you want. People aren't going to give you handouts and, and make it easy. You just got to work. Yeah. I started at four dollars an hour at Walmart. Worked full time through college, forty hours a week. Four and a half years took me to graduate. Mm -hmm. Parents couldn't help. Me. 
and I wanted my own business for because we've been married for over 30 years. Yeah. And I just got in the last two years where I had enough money to buy a business. Yeah. But it's not like I came. I lived in a trailer house for you know 18 years. And yeah. So I mean, I, but you got to work. My dad is still you know, he heard that. You got to work. And some of the young young people think they just want to they want to have it. Yeah. Have it. And you might have to work your way up. Yeah. Yeah. How's your work with Justin? No, he is, but he's keeping some. Do you know how to open this? Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Antonio, this is your job. You always show this off better than me. That's beautiful. <laughs> And this is the pit master. This is our pit master. Hello. Antonio. Yeah. How you doing, and, uh, sir? And his brother, Carlos. Yeah, yeah yes, we sir. Take care of yes, they sir. They take care of the barbecue. Yes, sir. They got it down to a T. Yeah, that's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. They cook, like, I don't know, it's crazy. Like, I remember what, Mother's Day is July 4th. You cook 3,000 leg quarters. Yeah. I don't know how many briskets. Mm -hmm. They'll come in at 3 or 34 in the morning. Yeah, yes, sir. Talk yes, about sir. working hard when we're talking yeah, about Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. We do like yes. a 40 brisket. 40 briskets? 40 briskets in one day. In one day? Do, do y'all have anyone that like stays overnight or is it just... No, usually uh, they'll put the briskets on and then, uh, or on Mondays when they're not here, we'll put some briskets on and then they take them off in the morning. Oh, okay. They'll be cooking till tomorrow, right? Yeah, we'll put it on. 20 hours? 20 hours, not a day. That's why it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. And we got these two, one in the other room, and we have a smoker, a trailer that we pull out on Fridays and Saturdays. Oh. Oh God. Christmas they do overnight. Yeah. Fry the turkeys, smoke the turkeys. Okay. This is a little bit slower. We don't let you can see. Yeah. 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 Not like the holiday weeks or Super Bowl weekend. You know those kind of things. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, um, yes, sir. This will be cut. They'll be cut from here all day. Yeah, yes, sir. All day. Yeah. Three people. Three people. Yeah, yeah. yes, sir. Just catering orders. Yeah. Yeah. Barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Usually yeah. we have like chicken and ribs running here, brisket. I mean, it's all yeah. over. Yeah. How, how long have you been here? Uh, I've worked in here for 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Almost okay. 11, so. Almost 11. Yeah. Yeah, well, it must be a good job. You're still here. Yeah, we try to do the best we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, have some of the best barbecue. I like. I told them, my mom's been coming here since I was a kid, and it's it's always been. My grandmother came here, her sister. So yeah, it's. Yeah, we it's, have people from Woodland, Sugarland, Victoria, yeah, Beaumont, yeah. Regulars that come Missouri here. City. Yeah, well, I'm actually from Missouri City. Okay. My yeah, mom. Has to come up there. Yeah, yeah, no. Chris, Chris let me Chris tell you. He comes in every week and he's like, he's going to be he's let me, joking about being an employee, but he comes every week here for barbecue. In Missouri City, where I live, there are barbecue places, but it's nothing like this. Like, we always have to either come here or go way out, and it's like, you know, it's all right, but it's like, know you know, you yeah, yeah. So, but it's worth the drive. Yeah, this one's worth the trip. And, yeah. And, who knows? We talked about that barbecue and yeah. Missouri City. Yeah. Yeah. I just talked to that guy today. I did too. Yeah. yeah. It'll take off. I know that. Yeah. So, yeah. We just got to get our feet under ourselves yeah. too. You'll yeah, get yes, eight sir. months into it. Yeah, yes, sir. Oh, yeah. You want to you come back here and take the wood in? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Put the wood in. Oh, how's it going? Okay. Yeah. Are you supposed to put the wood in here? Okay, okay. Okay. How often do you have to change it out? Uh, I, I do it twice on the day. Okay. Take and fill it up again. Okay, okay. Man, so this is where all the magic happens. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Y'all got the whole unit back here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Have we got Arlene here? Uh, no, we don't. <laughs>
I like their wall of fame. Yeah. They, they support it over the years. Yeah. Uh, I know like the Southeast Island line, we're going to continue supporting them every year. Yeah. Uh, I think it's been over 20 years. That he's got yeah, it, it has. Yeah, I know. Um, I actually, I don't know this guy personally, but I, I know who that is. Yeah, yeah. he's this he is went a to. Big with yeah. Uh, uh, oh, this is uh, Audrey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah, he comes in uh, for the, when Houston uh, has a home game. Yeah. They get all their tailgating here. Yeah. Their home game. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. yeah. This so is. Our barbecue to go back here. Yes, ma'am. I'll take you back here and let you see Stephanie. She's our. She cuts all our meat. Okay. Okay. And we're trying. Come on. 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 How you doing? How you doing? Right here, she's got my window. Hey, how you? Hey. 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 Hey.
uh, where I make the chuck steaks out of it. The roast. Okay. So you like a surgeon, huh? Yeah. Know how to trim a brisket? Yeah. That's what I've been trying to get down for a while now, trimming briskets and... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you learned all this like where you from? Okay. Did you ever barbecue or anything? Or? Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. So that's the finished product. Okay. So you said that's what that's a steak? This is the rose here. Oh. Over here. So I cut the steak from oh. So what what part of what part of the cow is this? Front shoulder. Front shoulder cow. So you do ribs and everything? Yeah. So I did when I cut the short ribs already. Mm -hmm. you know, you know,
You said Grapevine, Texas? Grapevine. Grapevine. Oh, okay, okay. What part of Texas? East Texas? East or Texas. East Texas, okay, okay. Crockett. Crockett, yeah. I used to, uh, I went to college in uh, Athens, Texas, yeah, and I passed through all that, yeah. The school called Trinity Valley, yeah. So what made the gentleman want to show you how to uh, butcher, was it? When, uh, one day I was just, I was coming from school. Yeah. Y'all asked me if I need more to try. Oh. Okay. 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 So did he show you how to how to how to do one specific thing or he just showed you everything? Oh, okay. They didn't kill me to fight when they saw me. Mm -hmm. They didn't kill me to fight. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you didn't cut your hand before? Mm -hmm. When I was, when I was starting here, I think about a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. I, you know, I took my eye off there. Oh, yeah. You know, I couldn't oxygen to stick my fingers in there. Okay. Me thing, but they forgot to think they saw a fight. Okay. So it goes straight from here to over there. Yeah. No, no, you good. Made you come to Houston, Texas? Well, uh, my mom stayed out here, and uh, so I never went back to the country for a little while. I came to school down here, mm -hmm. uh, so I just come back to Houston. Yeah. Let you get to work, okay. but I appreciate you for taking the time out and everything. But I want to let you know we appreciate you and Happy New Year. Yes, sir. All right. I want to say thank you so much for having me. Um, it's truly a blessing for y'all to accept me and um, just give me a you know a tour of everything. You're welcome. So um, we're gonna post this and promote Bud's okay. House of Meat. And I really appreciate y'all, Big Amount TV. And do you have anything? Or? Uh, we just appreciate, we love being in this community. We appreciate everybody. Everybody's open arms for us. And uh, we just appreciate it. And we're enjoying it. So thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What's going on, everybody? It's Big Amount TV. 
King Moses underscore underscore twenty two thirty four is my Instagram. Um, I'm about to get into another video to actually review this barbecue from Buzz Meat Market. The video was so long that I had to um, make another video. So y'all like, comment, subscribe, and click on the video below to see how great this barbecue is. It's so wonderful. It's so good. See y'all next time. But don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, butchers in here. Oh, oh yeah. How 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 long how long you been working here? Oh, I'm going on seven years. Oh, okay. Yeah, I be having a, I have rocking every night, dude. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I be trying to actually can make a commercial out of here. Huh? I be asking can I make a commercial? Yeah, yeah. Or <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me start yeah. getting some clientele. Yeah, you know, to yeah, yeah. I'm from yeah. Missouri City. My mama, um, from uh, South Park, mm -hmm. somewhere, uh, Doolittle or something like. That. Yeah, and uh, she been coming here for a long time, man. Especially on the holidays. Oh yeah. 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 They sold it. You got new owners. That's it. Oh, y'all got new owners? Yeah, that's okay, so is the like bosses and people they knew? Or? Yeah, they cool people. They real cool people. Oh, okay. Because yeah, I remember I used to go back there. That white lady still work back there? Nah, that's a whole new crew. That's a whole new crew. So everybody's still the same people working here, but. The whole, the people I used to see? Yeah, okay. Dang. Yeah, I got. I, I, wanna, I got mics and stuff. I'm sorry, I want to start me a podcast or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I be talking a lot of stuff, man. I be talking with other people too. Yeah. Yeah. Every day, man. I be, I want to do some mics. I got a couple of mics. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do a lot of different stuff, you know. Yeah. Working in here. Yeah, they they pretty cool though. Yeah.